Hey everybody, welcome to Talk Daily, and today we're going to be talking about the 3G, the network that powers some of the vehicles on the road today, and that network is no longer available. Uh, this article comes from Car and Driver, and written by Clifford Etie, and I have a link to this article in the description below, so what is going on? Uh, I'll just read a little bit from the article right here, saying, uh, for years you heard about 5G potential for rapidly increasing data speed uh, for our digital devices, etc., etc. So, um, anyway, this became a topic when a 3G network on February 22nd, T-Mobile was sprinted shutting down by March 31st, Verizon in December 31st. And all other low-tier mobile uh, providers such as Cricket are under the same timeline depending on which network they crib. So basically, 3D is shutting down. And if you didn't know about this, well, now you know. Uh, I'm pretty sure you, uh, a lot of you do know. You're upgrading your device, whatever your device needs to run on a newer network. So this actually affects vehicles. The effect the communication the vehicle has uh, with the manufacturer as far as, you know, collision. You know, when you get in a car accident, the vehicle's supposed to contact whatever roadside assistant. And... Uh, when you buy modern cars, it's not like older cars where you just remove the radio. Remember those days when you just, you know, you buy a car and you just remove the radio and put a radio in and it's far more complex than that. It's, it's a lot more complicated. You cannot remove that thing. It's, it's part of the vehicle. It's, it's, things get complicated. So this article goes on giving you basically a breakdown on what vehicles that's below are the automa automakers that have made public information available. We, uh, they're saying they copied it from word by word because they don't want to have obviously get sued. Uh, anyway, so check with your local dealer or contact National Consumer Service to learn more about refund incentives and available fixes. So having said that, put that out of the way. We'll move on with the article. All right. So Acura, uh, you'll be familiar with this screen. Uh, it goes from 2014 to 2017 MDX, the 2016 model picture. That's the one you see, the MDX. Uh, 2015 to 2017 TLX. 2016 to 2017 ILX. You've seen the names that Acura has, right? RDX. 2014 to 2016 RLX. They roll off the tongue. 2017 NSX. NSX is just sex. NSX. NSX. I love it. Love that name. Um, but the rest I'm not too excited about. Uh, anyways, um, that's not the point. Uh, cancel services, Acura Link Premium, personal uh, services to make hotel, restaurant, and airline re reservation. You have your phone. I can't see that becoming an issue, but regardless, those are things that are being canceled. Acura Link Connect, automatic collision notification, emergency calls, stolen vehicle locator, enhanced roadside assistant, remote door unlock, send destination, find my car, Destination by voice, vehicle status, and security alarm alert. And Acrolink standard real-time traffic and maintenance reminder. The remedy, Acura claims that dealers can install a new device. For Acrolink services, certain owners may qualify for $1,500 off a new Acura according to Cars Direct. I would definitely recommend that option. Just get a new car. Um, that's what happened when you brand new. Of course. Not all of us have the funds to get a new car, so it's easy to say, haha, yeah, just get a new car. No, of course not. I understand, but um, just this what's going on right now. Unfortunately, um, we're getting to the point where technology is, I don't want to say slowing down, but becoming more standard. Like, it's, it's good now. I think 5G will be good for a while. Okay, all this were... I want to say in development, remember there was LTE, then there was Edge, no, Edge, LTE, then 3G, and... Um, that was kind of a, I want to say that age when things are just kind of rapidly uh, expanding as far as the amount of bandwidth of data you could send and receive. And now we're getting to a point where it's pretty much an ocean of information is coming through. So we should be okay. I can't imagine 5G is going out of, I mean, maybe for security purposes, 5G might eventually... I don't, I don't know. Anyways, but um, that's a different topic. Uh, uh, point of the matter is there is some remedy. And um, I just want you to remember that. Okay, I'm not going to read every one of them because it's pretty much all the same thing, right? The collision, the stolen vehicle, enhanced roadside assistant. So um, uh, moving on. This is Audi. Obviously, you can tell from the rings uh, on the steering wheel. A lot of Mars, uh, a lot of vehicles are affected, as you notice, from 2012. Uh, and you wonder why, because usually like luxury cars, I'm not saying Acura, it's not, but the Germans are usually kind of ahead of the game a little bit. So they're adding that technology way from back then. 
So you see from 2021 on the high end car, like the A6 and A7, because when you bought that, I was like, that was something to boast about, right? 3G available from 2012. And now obviously, it, uh, and as you notice the A7 after 15, that doesn't have the 3G. They had the uh, foresight, right? They wanted the newest thing. So in a way, having a luxury car is kind of nice, but at the same time, it gets out of date very quickly. Um, anyway, moving along. Uh, the same thing. Everything's affected up to 2000. I think the highest is 18 with the A3s. A 2016 A3. So, um, okay, I'll read it. 2012, 2015, A6, A7. 2012, 2018, Q7. 2012, 2018, Q3, A5, A8. From 13 to 16, all road, A4. 13 to 18 Q5, 14 to 16 A3, and A3, uh, oh, okay, that's what I pictured. 2016, 2018 A3 e-tron, 2018 Q5, and A8, and the 19, just the RS5. That kind of sucked a little bit, but it is what it is for the 19. I don't know why they um, they went that far. 2019 still 3G, I don't remember. Anyway, cancel service, so all Audi Connect services will no longer be available following AT&T 3G shutdown. In fact, the service including voice, Google Voice search, weather, fuel, prices, travel information, flight information. Again, it's all the stuff you can get on your phone, but I, I know, I know. You're probably thinking it's no big deal. I have it on my phone, but regardless, that's the infotainment system. That's the thing that uh, occupies a lot of space visually, right? Now that thing is just does nothing. Um, Audi Connect uh, Care's SOS emergency call feature, online roadside assistant, Audi service request, and Audi incident assistant, remote lock and unlock, vehicle status report, and stolen vehicle located. Those are things for safety. We, we, you might take it for granted. You might say, I don't need it, but you never know the day you want to remotely, unremotely unlock your car, and vehicle status, and report stolen vehicle. I, I can't say that you don't need these things, okay? SOS and emergency call feature, you never know. And maybe this feature saved somebody's life. They got in a car accident and... It did its job. Anyway, so there's a remedy. There's a remedy. So for uh, telematics, Audi is offering motion for Audi Connect, which involves installing a 4G modem and telematic unit in the OBD2 onboard diagnostic to port and using a phone app. This will replace some of the SOS features. So good on Audi. They're giving you something for your safety uh, feature, which is, as I said, like I don't really care about the flight information, Wi-Fi hotspot. I care more about the safety information. Uh, moving on BMW. BMW is weird. It's really weird when I read this article because look at this. No model list is provided. And then BMW is saying, oh, we're going to talk. We're going to talk to our customers. I don't know. Okay. Uh, Cancel services as a result of the sunset of 3G service by wireless carriers partner February 22nd. Remember, oh, remember this date? February. Uh, no, it says February 20th, 22, but it's February 22nd for some reason. Uh, we'll go on for about the hold that February 22nd for a for a little bit now, but on the shelf. <laughs> um, so uh, as a result of the 3D shutdown, uh, some vehicles factory equipped with 4G telematic devices will no longer have access to services. But it says 4G telematic. Uh, I don't know what the, it's kind of confusing a little bit. It says uh, vehicle factory equipped with 3G telematic devices or retrofit 2G vehicles will no longer be able to receive any connect BMW asset service. Some vehicles factory equipped with 4G telematic Devices will no longer have access to services that require a voice connection, such as BMW Assist Call, eCall, and Concierge service, but will continue to receive certain Connect Drive BMW Assist services, such as advanced real time traffic information, remote service, and BMW Online, depending on your BMW model. So I'm kind of confused by this. So the 3G and the 2 3G and 2G will not work, but 2G is still active, right? If I'm not mistaken, I thought 2G is kind of slow, but it's still there. Um, guys, correct me if I'm wrong, okay? Anyway, so the 4G is kind of working, but not fully. And the remedy, certain cars can be upgraded for free at a dealer. Others will be ineligible, BMW says. It is contacting customer. Very vague, very vague, very vague for BMW. I didn't expect that. Ford, uh, according to National Highway Transportation Safety Administration, filing in November 2021. is saying that 2012-2015 uh, focus... Uh, 12 to the 13 Fusion, uh, 12 Mercury Milan, 12 Lincoln MKZ, and 13 C Max. Not that many models on Ford, and I don't know, maybe because it's uh, uh, maybe a, a lower end vehicle. I'm not saying for the lower end vehicle, but uh, those vehicles that were not an option or they just didn't include this communication as an option, maybe to keep the cost of the vehicle down because the segment this vehicle is in. 
regardless uh, cancel services uh, are the 3g cellular service is decommissioned a vehicle equipped with 3g telematic control unit tcu will know will lose my ford mobile and my lincoln mobile app functionality connectivity i don't think that's the end of the world it's just an app that's not going to be functional anymore and saying remedy is none uh, but again, it, you know, you can see the whole display in the middle. This is mainly just for Havoc system and stuff. So I don't think it's a big deal for Ford owners. Uh, Remedy is none. That's fine. General Motors, on the hand, you can see General Motors had kind of a, like a long-term vision here. It says affected cars, including 2015 and newer Buick. I don't know when it stops. It says newer. I mean, what is that? 2021? I don't think so. 2022? Uh, Chevrolet, uh, Chevrolet, Cadillac, and GMC model. No list provided. But it says this website allow you to enter your VIN to see if it's affected. And then uh, there you go. I don't know. JavaScript. Yeah, a, a block JavaScript. Anyway, I have a link to this article. So I'll put that link too. So you could uh, check it out if your vehicle is affected. As always, contact your dealers. You just need to do an order. Um, send them an email. Uh, Cancel services. The 3G network sunset impact uh, services which you need to excuse me which you need to speak to onstar advisor through the vehicle on the advisor need to speak to you in the vehicle if you are in a crash a vehicle built-in sensor can still transmit automatic crash response alert and a vehicle location on onstar excellent that's again safety is still working remedy gm has been pushing over the air software update the affected model so they can work with the 4g lte network no hardware installation required unless onstar is inactive or disabled no, I mean, I think it's good. I think we have we have remedy. GM kind of somehow has a remedy for it that uh, is good. Well done. I mean, I have to do anything, right? No hardware installation is needed. It's just update over the over the uh, just over the air update. So that's excellent. Uh, Hyundai uh, from twenty twelve to twenty fifteen models with Blue Link, except Sonata with navigation and Genesis. Twenty sixteen Elantra, Elantra GT. And Veloste without navigation. Sonata Hybrid, Sonata Fe, excuse me, Sonata, Santa Fe. I'm from Cali, I can't even say that. Santa Fe and Ecos. Ecos? Cancel services, all Hyundai Blue Link service will be dis deactivated, including safety and security features such as automatic crash notification, ACN, SOS emergency assistant, roadside assistant, and stolen vehicle tracking remedy none. That's disappointing. Um, again, I, uh, no remedy, huh? Hmm. Well, I mean, I, I expect a little bit more from Hyundai. I, uh, really did. That's sad. I mean, again, to me, safety stuff that I, they, sh uh, I don't know. I don't know. I guess there's no remedy. Uh, again, this article as if today, uh, but currently no remedy. Okay. I, mean, I don't know if, uh, uh, Hyundai will dig in into their pocket and come up with a modem and put it in your car because, um, uh, these things are important for safety, but again, I don't know. I don't know. So anyway, as of stand, no remedy. Now we're getting to that weird update I told you about, February 22nd. Remember that? Honda. Uh, so 2018 to 2020 uh, core. That's kind of, I'm surprised about Honda. I mean, you see all these cars that ends at 16, 15. Honda been 2022. Is that a typo? From 2019 to 2022, Pilot Touring Elite Black Edition. You make me a black edition, is he going to tell me? Sorry, it's out of date. Come on, Honda. 2018 to 2020, Accord, Touring, Odyssey, Touring Elite, 2018, Accord, Touring Picture. 2019, 2020, Insight, Touring. 2019, 22, Pilot, Touring, Elite, Black Edition. 19 to 21, Passport, Touring, and Elite. Come on, come on, Honda. Cancel services, Honda Link Remote, Honda Start and Stop, Security Alarm, Amazon Alexa Scale. No, no, I'm not Alexa. Remote Lock and Unlock, Find My Car, uh, Geoference Alert, Speed Alert. I don't need that. Uh, destination by Voice, Stolen Vehicle Locator, Driver Feedback, Honda Link Security, Emergency Call, Automated Collision Notification, Enhanced Roadside Assistant, Personal Data Wipe. Honda Link uh, Concierge, personal concierge service to hotel, restaurant, and airline reservation. Uh, being stupid here. Honda Link dashboard, vehicle notification, vehicle health report. Oh, vehicle health. Uh, send destination, other feature, Wi Fi hotspot. Remedy if you didn't install Honda over the air update by February 22nd, you're too late and will have to pay for a new modem or lose all service. Okay, so. Obviously, Honda knew about this. 
So they give you an over-the-air update for February 22nd. And let's see you have a time machine. And let's see you are Rick. And you have a time machine. Uh, it's too late. You have to pay for a modem. Or lose all service. Again, I don't think it's that bad. Um, yeah, I don't, I, I don't know how much the modem is. It'd be interesting if any of you guys, uh, guys or girls, everybody, has uh, uh, access to this uh, feature and wanted to install the modem. I might, I might do some research. A couple of my friends work for a couple of Honda dealerships. So I might just call them and say, hey, how much you pay for the modem? Interesting. Yeah, I'll probably make a video about that. So, um, yeah, I'll find out uh, uh, the modem costs because uh, you want to have these features. I mean, that's a lot of things you're going to lose, especially the concierge. What are you going to do without the concierge? No, but um, it's, um, be putting joking aside, uh, you, you, you're still doing payments on this car, man. <laughs> it's like, oh, I don't have these services. So, um, I hope yeah, all of you uh, on these vehicles did the uh, over the air update. I think it's automatic. I don't see why. Or maybe you have to go to settings and maybe it gives you a notification and you just didn't bother with it. I would I would imagine that. I probably would do that myself if, you know, I wouldn't pay attention to it. So um, anyways, you have to pay for a new modem or lose all services. So uh, I don't know how that works. I don't know how that modem could be updated to 44G wirelessly. But again, that's Honda solution. So, okay, moving on. Jaguar Land Rover. Jaguar and Land Rover. It's not my well, yeah, company, but whatever. Uh, since 2016, every 2016 and 2017 model is affected, plus only two 2015 Land Rover vehicle, uh, actual vehicle, not models. Okay, so not the model. Uh, Land Rover, Land Rover, Range Rover. Okay, this is when he, that brand just kind of confuses me a little bit. So you have Land Rover, Range Rover, Range Rover Sport, Range Rover Evoque. Uh, Discovery, Discovery Sport, Jaguar XE, Jaguar XF, Jaguar XJ, Jaguar F Type, and Jag F Pace. Cancel services in touch. Uh, sorry for the dialect. I just can't help it. It's just being stupid, but it's okay. Uh, cancel services in control. Touch Pro Connect navigation feature. Real time traffic flow in control. Route planner. Route planner app on smartphone. Online search, satellite view, street level imagery, live app, Wi-Fi hotspot. So this stuff is really cool. So remedy all connect navigation feature will seize. Mm. Uh, Jaguar Land Rover says it is downgrading 3G vehicle to run the T-Mobile 2G network. So telematic services in control remote and protect will work via the Jaguar remote or Land Rover remote smartphone app. Ah, uh, that's it, huh? This include the following feature emergency and breakdown call, stolen vehicle. You need that. You're going to need that breakdown call. A stolen vehicle tracking, remote climate, beep and flash, unlock and lock vehicle, vehicle location, journey tracking. Oh, however, the 2G network would eventually be phased out, so there is no time timetable. This is only a bandage, people. It's only a bandage. If you own these vehicles, only a bandage from 2016 to 2017 model. Okay. So only two 2015 Land Rover vehicles are affected. But anyways, um, unfortunately, again, as the 2G network is only going to be up for so long. Okay. Uh, Nissan and Infiniti, because they're the same company, a lot of cars. I mean, we're talking from 16 to 7, some 18s. I don't see any 19s. No, that's 19. Uh, QX30. Uh, from 2016 to 2017, Ultima, Maxima, Rogue, and Titan. 16 to 18, Sentra. Uh, 1718 GTR. Oh, GTR. Rogue Sport. The 2017 Murano Pathfinder Titan. Laughing. Uh, 1718 Rogue Sport. That's XD. Uh, 18 and 15 Leaf. Oh, no. Uh, any upgrade by customer after 2G uh, Sunset. Oof. Uh, 1418 Infinity Q50. 1718 uh, Q60. 13 to 18, 70, 17 to 19, 30, QX30, uh, 13 to 17, Infinity JX, QX60, QX56, QX80. I really think they need to come up with better names. It's just me. I, I don't know. I think in uh, Acura and Infinity just have the crappiest names ever for vehicle. I mean, I, QX, JX, QX, it's just... And that, these numbers mean nothing. It's not even like an engine displacement. But I know, I know. Okay. Never subject. 
please, please. Uh, I know, I understand. Okay, okay. Moving on. Cancel services. All Nissan vehicle equipped with telematic hardware compatible for use with 3G cellular network will be unable to access Nissan Connect service and Nissan Connect EV feature. All Infinity equipped vehicle with telematic hardware compatible for use with a 3 cellular network will be unable to access Infinity in-touch services and Infinity connection feature. And the remedy is... Niet. Nothing. At all. It's a lot of vehicle to have absolutely nothing. Nada. We don't care. I have absolutely no mm mm. I don't give a mm mm. It's a Q70. Mm, it's a Titan. GTR. Mm mm. So I don't know. Again, you have your cell phone, but I'm just saying, okay? I, all of a sudden, this thing in the middle becomes completely pointless. This huge glass reflector here. So, anyways, Porsche. That's a good company. So, anyway, 14. I love Porsche. 14, uh, 918 Spider, uh, I want to say 14, I mean 2014 to 2018 Panamera, 2015 to 2019 Kane and 2015 Kane and Turbo Picture, beautiful car. 2017, 2018 McCann, 2017, 2019 911. Cancel services, these services include all of Porsche Car Connect services provided by Vodafone as well as Vodafone, remember Vodafone? As well as uh, Porsche offered remote safety and security services. Uh, I'm sorry, every time I see Vodafone, I remember the Manchester United jersey. Okay, that's something else. Anyway, uh, come on, Eddie, focus. Uh, remedy, some models are eligible for a dealer-installed upgrade. And uh, some models. But at least there's some model, maybe, maybe it will be your model. So that's good. Uh, I highly recommend installing it. Go for the dealer and get the, uh, uh, get that upgrade. Um, you know, you really need that stuff. I It just sucks. Uh, I mean, I don't know. And those features are awesome. Uh, Stellantis. Uh, no model list provided. Affected cars under the former Fiat Chrysler, Dodge, Chrysler, Ram, Jeep, Fiat, Ferrari, Maserati, uh, Alfa Romeo. I'm sorry everyone who speaks Italian. I'm just being... Uh, I don't know. It's just the love of the country. That's why I do those stupid dialects. Anyway, uh, may include it may include 2012 to 2017 model built with the first three u connect generation the fourth gen u connect 8.4 switch to 4g starting with three 2017 models cancel services monthly vehicle health report vehicle health alert smartphone app that enable owner to remotely lock unlock or start their vehicle locate their vehicle and more 911 call 911 call and the assist button on the rear view mirror will be connect vehicle owner to help at the push of a button uh, so i guess that thing is uh, not going to be available remedy according to consumer report only certain 3g vehicle will be upgraded so long as the owner pays for a data plan automatic crash notification will be permanently disabled that's not good that's not good that's um that's a huge company that's a very huge company but i think they're just trying to cut the losses here they're just saying sorry whoops no more um uh, i don't know what to tell you again it's kind of unfortunate again uh, this is subaru has the same thing about february 22nd i don't know why so again subaru here the 2016 to 2018 not a lot of models well i mean not as bad as nissan uh 2016 to 2018 forester legacy outback and Prezac. Cross Tech 2016 Forrester Pictured 2017 2018 WRX WRX STI Cancel service effect uh, services include automatic collision notification, SOS emergency assistance, stolen vehicle recovery, and remote features such as lock and unlock in your Subaru. Very handy, right? Remedy if you didn't install Subaru over the air update before February 22nd, you're too late and will have no opportunity to upgrade the hardware. Wait. So Honda gives, tells you if you didn't upgrade by 22nd, you can buy a modem. These guys are saying if you didn't up upgrade over the air update before February 22nd, you're too late and will have no opportunity to upgrade the hardware. I mean, this is upgrading the software, right? So yeah, there's no upgrade. There's no opportunity to get a new modem. What's up with this weird date of February 22nd? I think it has to do with the maybe AT&T shutting down. That uh, I think that date has to do with uh, in the United States that uh, the two year, 3G service ceasing to exist, but. Uh, I hope you upgraded your Subi, you know, I really, really hope so, you know, uh, well, not just, yeah, so all these models. Um, 
Again, t Tesla, not to worry. I'm pretty sure Tesla had a vision ahead, right? Mo modem upgrade available. Good. That just ends it. From 2012-2015 Model S built before June 2015. So there's a vehicle right here. Uh, cancel service, remotely controlled climate control, locks and charge setting, get navigation and traffic update, including uh, supercharger availability and outage information. Stream music online using your touch uh, touch screen. Receive remote diagnosis support from roadside assistant. Access over the air software update. Remedy modem uh, modem upgrade available. Uh, please go get that. Please do. You need it. I'm pretty sure that hopefully it's not news to you. But anyway, Toyota and Lexus. This gets really long. God jeez. Um. Oh man. Again, I don't know why they have a lot of newer cars. The 2019, but not as bad as Honda. Well. Yeah, Honda went to like the 2022 for some odd reason. Uh, from 2011-2017, Sienna. Uh, from 12 to 16, Prius V. From 13 to 18, Avalon and HV. From 12 to 14, RAV4 EV. From 12 to 15, Prius Plug-In. 13 to 17, Camry HV. 16 to 17, Mirai. Uh, from 10 to 16, Prius. 14 to 18, a Highlander HV. 11 to 17, Land Cruiser. 2012 Land Cruiser pictured. That, that's a nice interior, by the way. From the 10 to 19, uh, Forerunner. Most every 2010 to 2018, Lexus. So the Lexus, most every. I don't know what that word means, most every. Most, if you say most, most every, most, I don't know. They're trying to up the percentage. I guess most mean eighty, and most every mean ninety percent. I don't know, but let's just say for the for the sake of conversation, every Lexus from twenty ten to twenty eighteen. Cancel service. Toyota Safety Connect will no longer function as of November first of twenty twenty two. You probably noticed that, right? Uh, affected safety connect services include automatic collision notification, enhanced roadside assistant, emergency assistant button, uh, the change, uh, the charger management, EC, uh, ACO dashboard, remote climate and vehicle finder. A lot of things are not going to be working. Um, include the in Intune app suit will also no longer be supported as of November, November 1st of 2022. This is only applicable to Prius plugin, RAV4, EV, and Mirai. So that all that talk was for those vehicles. As of October 31st, 2022, at 11.59 Central Time, the following available Lexus Infoam subscription services will be terminated on select 2010 to 2018 vehicles, including Lexus Inform Safety Connect, including... I just saw a squirrel walk outside my window. That's cute. Um, what are, what are, damn you, squirrel. Okay, so okay, we're going to edit this part. Nah. Anyway, so um, from 2010 to 2018 vehicle, Lexus E-Form Safety Connect, including automatic collision notification, enhanced roadside assistance, emergency assistance button, and stolen vehicle locator. Lexus E-Form remote, include remote engine start, stop, door unlock. Basically, all the cool stuff. The E-Fob, uh, the key fob remote start, vehicle st status and alert. Jeez. An integration with Alexa. Uh, and the Google Assistant. Lexus Informed Destination Assistant including 24-hour live response center Asian. Uh, Lexus uh, Inform Service Connect including vehicle health report, vehicle alert, and maintenance alert. And here's the best part. Remedy. After I spoke all this talk about Toyota. None. That's a lot of stuff. That ain't working, man. That's a lot of stuff. Come on, Toyota, have you lost your mind? I mean, the, the, these are like, that's a Lexus, man, from 2010 to 2018. Those are Lexuses. Okay, I get it. You don't have money. But I mean, what am I going to have money? All these things are not even cheap, so I don't get it. I, I don't get it. I think at least have some kind of remedy, like after February 22nd. You, you, again, I don't know. I'm speaking out of my, mm, because I don't work for Toyota, and I don't know what's the engineers, what's engineering going on in those vehicles. I understand who has the foresight to, some people had foresight, but it's difficult. I understand. When you build something in 2011, how would you know what things going to be like in 2022? So I give you that. But uh, maybe 2019, uh, you know, you kind of think to yourself, let me have a way to update. But again, it's easy, easier said than done. So um, anyway, so this is the situation as is. As currently it is, there's no remedy. 
Um, it is what it is. Uh, Volkswagen, uh, 2014 to 2019 Passat, Jetta, EOS, uh, Tiguan, Beetle, Golf, E-Golf, GTI, Golf R, Golf, uh, Sportwagen. Uh, 20, okay, so from 2014 to 2018, CC. What a cute name, CC. Uh, 2018 to 2019, Atlas and Air Artion. Cancel services of Volkswagen car and the net uh, telematic system will no longer function and the vehicle will no longer transmit or receive telematic data through the car net system. This means that the following features will no longer be available after the 3G network has sunset. Terminated. Sunset. Uh, safety and secure SOS emergency call feature, roadside assistance, stolen vehicle locator information assistant, and automatic crash notification. Uh, remote access, uh, remote lock and unlock, remote honk and flash, vehicle health report, fuel status, mileage trip, and all these things are not going to be working. Car net, mobile app, mobile app, and customer web portal services will be restricted. So this is going to be restricted. Remedy, owner of 20, 2017 to 2019 vehicle can buy an upgrade that will be available in the fall of 2022. All other models, including uh, all of the e-golf model, will be permanently disabled. That also suck. Um, uh, I mean, it's kind of kind of a modern vehicle. Again, I don't know. I guess it has to do something with the engineering of the vehicle. If you know, if you're an engineer and you work in these companies and you understand why some vehicles are unable, like you can't plug in anything to it, uh, let us know. I'm pretty sure this is hardware and software. Um, obviously, I'm not a network engineer. I don't understand how the this stuff works. Uh, but again, uh, luckily we have our phones, but it's, uh, kind of a shock for me to see how some companies kind of had a foresight and some companies had none. Uh, I mean, look at Tesla. I said modem upgrade available and that's from 2012, 2015. I don't know. Maybe uh, they were thinking ahead and some companies were not thinking ahead. Um, and Subaru had some remedy, I guess, over the air update that, but if you didn't install it by a certain date, you're out of luck. I, again, I don't get that. Like, why can't you just go plug it in your OBD2? I, I, I don't know. Again, if you know, let, let us know. Let us know in the comments below if you know why this stuff is happening. Why, oh, only at this date. And because I guess the transmitting uh, signal will be terminated from that location. It's no more 4G. I understand that, but why can't you just have it on a, go to the dealership and just have the software plug in your OBD2? I don't see the issue with that. Again, let us know why it won't work or why it doesn't work. Um, some companies, I think they did a fine job by having given you the dealer uh, option and install some upgrade. I guess Porsche has some that option. Um, some of them are, I'm shocked, and like Nissan, like, dude, a lot of people left in the dark, man. I mean, especially like some vehicles are supposed to be like futuristic or, you know, the Leaf, the Leaf. Uh, I mean, you're, you're, you're downgraded to, to G at least. So, but that's life support. That's not really the answer. Um, uh, Jaguar, again, going to 2G, a Band-Aid. Um, Honda is, again, uh, but you can get the modem. So that's good. Honda is good. I mean, because I think they have a, like a lot of new model. 2022? 2022. That's, I'm surprised. But anyways, um, Hyundai, no remedy. General Motor, you're good with General Motor. No hardware installation required. You're good. Um, what else? Ford, not really affecting much. Uh, BMW, keeping the cars close to their chest and not telling you anything. They will contact you. We will contact you. We will contact you. Audi, a lot of models, but again, they have they have uh, basically they have some kind of like a remedy, a patch where they could use your phone or an OBD2 connector. You can get it done. Acura is, you can actually install, oh no, the dealer can install a new device. That's all I could say. They, you, they claim, again, Acura claimed the dealer can install a new device. Those words, I don't know. If you had that experience and they didn't install it, let us know in a, in a description below. But I give you a $1,500 off. Hey, maybe it's time to uh, upgrade your vehicle. Anyways, um, let me know what you think uh, about this article. I think it was kind of interesting that, um, uh, how modern technology is affecting your vehicle and how your car is becoming, you have to upgrade your phone. You have to upgrade, excuse me, your car just to have to upgrade your phone. I said car phone at the same time. Anyway, it's been another long video. God, I've been talking for a minute. Uh, I hope this informed you and helped you. And if you didn't know, let a friend uh, tell them about the vehicle. And if you upgraded your car, let us know how it went and uh, what's working on your car. It'll be very interesting to know. 
what's everybody's experience i personally own that what we call dumb cars my evo is um it's fine my miata is fine my accord is fine uh but i understand if you have a newer vehicle any technology is amazing you get used to it so uh not having access to all this data information is definitely bothersome so um Anyways, I hope uh, you got your car fixed and if it's affected, you have a solution for it. And as always, thank you for watching wherever you are. And as always, have a great, uh, right now it's a weekend. So have a great weekend. Take care and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.